Welcome back to the ninth gym program, everybody. And today we have another BDSP guide. Today we're going to be covering Gastrodon. This Pokemon is pretty cool. Uh, this Pokemon is actually insane, like insanely good. But it has a very, very, very obvious weakness of four times weakness to um, to grass. And this song, this song is overpowering. This song is overpowering me. So I'm, I'm going to skip it. Anyway. Um, yeah, Gastron. Gastron is pretty cool. Water ground typing. So its only weakness is grass, but it is four times weakness. So, you know, that's pretty rough. We can, of course, use Rindo Berry to have that weakness, but the most played um, grass type Pokemon right now is Breloom, um, which is Bullet Seed, which consumes it on the first hit of Bullet Seed, and then every other Bullet Seed goes right through the Rindo Berry, not caring about the Rindo Berry. So it's, like, not that good right now, to be honest. Um, so I would, uh, so I'm playing Citrus Berry, just playing around it, um, you know, neutrally here, um, just not, you know, just switching it out whenever I'm in front of a grass Pokemon, switch it into like a, an Arcanine or something. Um, Gastron is a Pokemon that I haven't explored that much in the format yet, this format, but I think it's insanely good because of the low amount of grass type Pokemon in the meta. Of course, Ludicolo and Breloom are pretty highly played Pokemon. They are still, um, you know not super super highly played Breloom's on a lot of teams and Ludicolo's on practically every rain team um but those teams you just play around right you just play around them you make your team to beat those teams and then Gastron has no problem at all Gastron's usually a Pokemon that um kind of soaks up the weakness of other things because as you can see there the ability storm drain um makes it so that every water type attack does nothing essentially it draws every water move into itself and then it raises its special attack by one and it has water immunity as well which is pretty crazy because that is an insanely good ability um now pair that with something like tyranitar that like it's like eh, i don't really want water around um or like you know any kind of pokemon in the game that doesn't want water around and that's what you're doing so the the two most common teammates are arcanine and tyranitar that's usually going to be the team um built around the gastron it's going to be those pokemon and yeah, that's pretty cool gastron is here at 15 percent usage just shy of the uh top 10 what was it like 15 it's like 15 15 16 and um that that makes sense so let's go ahead and talk about the overview here here let's talk about some um stats and trending stuff so excuse me stats hp 111 is pretty solid that's a lot of HP, a very high HP stat. Now, the defense at 68 is pretty mediocre, but we can definitely add in some EVs and, you know, bulk it up that way. But its HP at 111 is pretty solid. It is going to be taking pretty normal damage, but a lot of HP. And since it only takes super effective damage from grass, any other attack's just going to be hitting it neutrally into its balloon HP. It's not, it's not too worried. Then you have special defense down here at 82, um, which, wait, which, which one is, uh, which, uh, yeah, yeah, special attack, special defense, 82, um, which is pretty solid. So all around, not the worst natural bulk, not the best, 68 is pretty low defense, um, but 111 HP, it's pretty healthy, it's pretty good. Um, now, as far as offense goes, 83 attack doesn't really matter. We're not going to be ever using physical attack on this Pokemon. And special attack at 92 is pretty solid. I do wish this uh, physical attack was taken a little bit away and put more into defense or special defense or something. Um, but whatever. 92 special attack's not bad. And after a storm drain plus one, one or two times, this thing's doing very, very solid damage, especially if you EV into it. Um, which a lot of builds will EV a bit of special attack in. And then speed is its last stat, 39. Very, very low, but that's okay because Trick Room makes it very solid. And uh, those other Pokemon, Tyranitar, Arcanine, they can all work under Trick Room very well. Arcanine's a little fast, but, you know, it's whatever. Uh, if you don't invest speed, it's mid-speed. And if you do invest speed, you just have a fast Pokemon on your team. You want a fast core, you want a fast thing on a Trick Room team, just in case they deny you Trick Room. Um, so it makes sense. It makes it makes a lot of sense. So that is that. Let's talk about these trending moves. So the first three are going to be... Actually, honestly, the first four is what you'll typically see. Ice Beam, Protect, Earth Power, and Recover. And then it takes a pretty quick drop off here. Scald is 40%, and then Muddy Water 26, Yawn at 22. So those are all the trending moves. Very good moves, by the way. Very, very good moves. We have Ice Beam... Um, doing really big damage to a lot of good Pokemon in the meta, and it also deals with your grass Pokemon pretty well. And once under Trick Room, you're outspeeding those grass Pokemon, and you're hitting Ice Beam onto that Breloom. 
uh, easy damage. Now, next we have Earth Power as well. Um, this hits the fire Pokemon that the Scald would typically hit, and ground, and also um, the the water type Pokemon. Uh, water. Rock. Rock type Pokemon. I can, if I can speak today. Um, so yeah, that's a pretty solid normal move set. You have your, um, you know, you have your Earth Power. You have Ice Beam doing pretty good damage. You have Protect and Recover. Pretty solid. You're sitting there on the field for a good while. Recover is doing pretty good. You have things like Leftovers or Citrus Berry. Um, good eats. It's good. Scald, Muddy Water, Yawn. All are really good moves. Um, Scald and Yawn more so. Muddy Water is interesting because of its mediocre accuracy. But hitting accuracy drops can just swing a game entirely in your favor. So all those moves are very, very good. Now next, let's look at the trending partners. Um, Arcanine, Tyranitar, Cresselia. This is your typical um, Gastron core, right? Because uh, we have Cresselia set Trick Room, which you want on a Gastron. We have Tyranitar and Arcanine that don't like Water-type Pokemon. So then you have Gastron in the back to just Storm Drain and not care about those weaknesses. So that is really good. You also have Cresselia that can just destroy every Fighting-type Pokemon in front of you for Tyranitar. So that's a very, very good core. You could even just slap one... Oops, that's the wrong tab. You could even just slap one a Garchomp Togekiss and then you're done. That is your six team. That is a very, very solid six Pokemon, and it works. It just works. So that's what I would say. If you wanted to start making a Gastrodon team, that's probably the team I would say to make. It's those six Pokemon. Next, we have some trending items. We have Citrus Berry and Leftover. It's really, really pushing forward here. 42% and 25% of usage stats are Citrus Berry and Leftovers. That makes sense. Citrus Berry Leftovers, they're both good. They help you with bulk, general bulk, 25% or, um, you know, one eighth of your or one sixteenth of your HP every turn. Both are very good. Now, we also have Rindo Berry, which is an honorable mention, but Rindo Berry is kind of interesting. Like I said, the Bullet Seed. Um, from the Breloom, which is the most used Pokemon, or uh, most used Grass Pokemon right now, it makes it a lot um, less desirable to go for the Rindo Berry. So I'm not opting for it, but I typically do in other games. Now for damage, we have things like Expert Belt, Life Orb, you know, of course, and then we have Pinch Berry. So a lot of really good items, a lot of customization. Any of these moves, uh, or moves, any of these items could land on a team definitely now storm drain at 99.57 that or 597 is of course um it makes sense we're not going to be using sticky hold we're not going to be using sand force now if you do have like a tyranitar sand team you want to use sand force go for it it's fun but storm drain is really what it's there for and if you have a tyranitar on your team you're going to be using storm drain anyway so storm drain it is now, um, for the EV spreads, the trending EV spreads, there are a lot of, um, they're all over the place. Honestly, like, let's be honest, they're all over the place. Um, you know, quiet, modest, you've got min speed, you've got normal speed, you've got um, not speedy investment ones. There's Nobody's investing speed into this guy except like four just to not waste EVs. Um, but to be honest, I'm not going to lie. Um, I did just use the most trending EV spread because I haven't really been playing Gastron much this format, so I don't have a very good um, EV spread, and I don't, I'm don't i not super knowledgeable about Gastron in this format, so I just went with this top EV spread. It's fine to do every now and again. Do it up. Um, so yeah, 172, 212, 60, 64. Um, so let's go ahead and look at this spread today. So this is the trending, the most trending um, that could possibly be. I mean, if you're, you know, if you want the most basic Gastrodon ever, this is a good place to go. Now, of course, you could be more basic and go just 252 into HP, 252 into defense, and then 4 into special defense, and then you have a bulky Gastrodon that's just sitting there taking a lot of damage as well. So that's a good way of going about it, but we just went for this educated spread. I'm sure somebody did their homework. It's fine. Um, that's what we're going for. It is a little weird that there's the 4 speed, um, but, you know, whatever. Honestly, it might even hurt. Like, you might even just want to go no speed. Um, okay, bud. Come on, bud. So, yeah. You, you might want to just, like, put that into attack, honestly. Like, it, it, you're wasting the four EVs anyway. You could go for a try spread, but it, this seems like it wants to be more so into HP, defense, and special defense, and wants to have some attack. So, I... Uh, whoops. Um, so, I don't mind it, right? I don't mind that spread. Anyway... Citrus Berry, Storm Drain, not going to change there. Citrus Berry could change. Leftovers, all good. Um, Pinch Berry, Rindo, uh, all of those are good. If, you want, if you're looking for an offensive Gastron, we don't have that today. But um, it definitely exists, right? I've seen it before. Life Orb, Gastron, I've seen it. Um, so it does exist. 
Um, now for the moves, we have Earth Power, Ice Beam, Recover, Protect. Once again, very, very generic. They are the top four trending moves. Um, Ice Beam, Protect, Earth Power, and Recover. Now, like I said, all of them make sense. Ice Beam hits a lot of things in the meta, as well as the Grass-type Pokemon that very much so scare this Gastron. And it's slower than Breloom, so if you already have Trick Room up, you're pretty safe to just go for an Ice Beam into the Breloom, especially if you have another um, Pokemon outspeeding it under the Trick Room that can hit it and break the Sash, or if its Sash is already broken. So all of that is really good for that. Um, especially if you have a Tyranitar team, it's going to take a little bit of buffeting from the... Uh, from the sandstorm and then you get to slap an ice beam down and that thing's gone um now earth power is really good as well it hits things in the meta like arcanine it hits all these fire type and rock type pokemon it's very good and it also has the chance for a lowering of the special defense very good recover and protect all very solid very good spread very basic i know but very good 172 172 in hp 212 in defense 60 into special attack 60 into special defense and then the leftover four in a speed honestly honestly you know whatever right whatever right um for the uh nature here we have plus into special attack and minus in speed it's quiet and then zero ivs in the speed just so this thing is as slow as possible because what's the point of having some speed on it we are going to be out speeding other gastrons that are min speed but you'd rather speed tie under trick room because this seems like a very trick room heavy pokemon and yeah yeah that's that's really it um that's all I got today for the video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. It makes a huge difference. It really does. Um, Gastron, cool Pokemon. Yeah. Have a good week. Goodbye.